What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't wanna miss them. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about what books and resources I use during Spine Fellowship. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgery fellow. So, I have another video about how we learn in spine surgery and I'll put that right up here, but there's a number of different resources that you can use. Some people are actually overwhelmed by the vast amount of information that's out there when it comes to residency or even fellowship or medical school because you just don't know what resources to use. So I thought it would be helpful to let you guys know what books I'm reading and what other resources I'm using to study during my fellowship. So. I use a number of different books, but the, uh, the main ones that I use or am using right now, the first one is the Orthopedic Spine um, Surgery Essentials book. This is a, a pretty concise book, it's very light, it's only you know, 300, 400 pages, so I actually carry this around with me and I read it and use it as a reference um, throughout the year so far. So it's actually a book that has information on different disease processes that affect the spine. So this um, thoracic stenosis or stenosis of the thoracic spine and it has pictures and different resources that you can use to uh, study different conditions in spine surgery. The next book that I use is the Spine Surgery Tricks of the Trade here. This is by a pretty famous uh, spine surgeon that um, actually helps me prepare for cases. Say for instance, we're doing a case on screws in the cervical spine. I can review this here and this will give me, you know, the angles that I need to put the screws in, what important structures are nearby, as well as different portions of the spine here. So, very good book for techniques. This is a book for information or the con different conditions that you can actually read about. The other book I have is it's called OKU, Orthopedic Knowledge Updates. This is volume five here. And this is more of an informational book as well. And this book talks about different conditions here in spine surgery. And in reference, in a couple weeks I have a presentation that I'm giving and I'm actually referencing this book here to look at multiple sclerosis or ALS or different conditions that affect the neurological system. So I would suggest that you have one to two anatomy books and also one to two books that you can reference. A lot of things that I learn is actually from articles, so I read a lot of articles. Say for instance, there's a patient who comes in with a spinal cord injury, I might just review an article that I have a database in my laptop and just review and refresh on that particular condition. I also look at, I look at a lot of videos online, whether it's YouTube, there's some dissection videos for gross anatomy that I review for different cases, but these are the most important books that I think that I'm using right now to study for cases as well as just to get a review throughout the entire year. So my plan is to read this book here twice by the end of the year. I'll read it one full time by December and I'll read it a second full time by the end of the year. So those are the books that I'm using. I'll put links to the books in the description if you're interested in spine. It's a great field. I, I highly suggest that you consider it. Being able to work around the brain as well as the spinal cord. It's a lot of fun. I think you guys should definitely consider spine surgery. This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.